Welcome to Time to Pray. I'm the Reverend Canon Anne Clark, Associate Priest in the Parish of Wanstead in East London. And every day at this time I invite you to join me for a short time of prayer. And the prayer is taken from the Church of England's Time to Pray. And as I say most days, if anybody's viewing for the first time, there is um, an app that you can download. It's free and it's called Time to Pray. Today is the 29th of April um, and in the church calendar today we have the Lesser Festival, we keep the Lesser Festival of Catherine of Siena. Catherine Benicassa was born in 1347, wait for it, the second youngest of 25 children. Pious from her earliest years, she overcame family opposition to her vocation, became a Dominican tertiary at the age of 18. Nourished by a life of contemplative prayer and mystical experience, she devoted herself to active care for the poor and sick. She became increasingly sought as an advisor on political as well as religious matters. And in 1376, she journeyed to Avignon as an ambassador to the Pope and influenced his decision to turn to Rome. She wrote a dialogue on the spiritual life, as well as numerous letters of counsel and direction, which stressed her devotion to the precious blood of Jesus. She suffered a stroke on the 21st of April and died eight years later on this day in the year 1380. And so we give thanks for Catherine's life. She was also um, one of the very few women that the church has ever honoured by giving her the title doctor. And today, if I appear to be quite sort of um, <laughs> more um, joyous than usual, it's because in the last few moments I've just heard that the um, there have been two bishops' appointments in my, my old diocese of Chichester. And um, the Bishop of Horsham, and um, is the new Bishop of Horsham will be the Ruth, um, the Reverend Ruth Bushiega, and the uh, new Bishop of Lewis will be the Reverend uh, William Hazelwood. So uh, obviously overjoyed for both of them and for that those two appointments have been filled. But it was unthinkable that there could be a woman bishop in the Diocese of Chichester. There was a time when it was unthinkable for even women priests to be in that particular diocese. So it's a, it's a great, as we celebrate Catherine of Siena, it is with great joy that um, we give thanks for those two appointments. And so let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. The words of Gregory of Nazianzus. Sorry, I've skipped a day. Yesterday... I was crucified with Christ. Today I am glorified with him. Yesterday I was dead with Christ. Today I am sharing in his resurrection. Yesterday I was buried with him. Today I am waking with him from the sleep of death. And the psalm for today, Wednesday, in Eastertide, is Psalm 106. And it reminds us of the, the covenant that God has made with his people and that he is faithful. The Lord remembered his covenant. Alleluia! Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious, for his faithfulness endures forever. Who can express the mighty acts of the Lord or show forth his praise? Blessed are those who observe what is right and always do what is just. Remember me, O Lord, in the favour you bear for your people. Visit me in the day of your salvation, that I may see the prosperity of your chosen, and rejoice in the gladness of your people, and exult in your inheritance. We have sinned like our forebears. 
we have done wrong and dealt wickedly. In Egypt they did not consider your wonders, nor remembered the abundance of your faithful love. They rebelled against the Most High at the Red Sea. But he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea, and it was dried up. And so he led them through the deep as through the wilderness. He saved them from the adversary's hand, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. As for those that troubled them, the waters overwhelmed them. There was not one of them left. They, then they believed his words and sang aloud his praise. The Lord remembered his covenant. Holy God, when our memories blot out your kindness and we ignore your patient love, remember us, remake us, and give us, poor sinners, the rich inheritance of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And our Gospel for today, the passage of Scripture, is from um, St. John, continuing that story where Jesus said yesterday, I am the bread of life. This follows on from the feeding of the 5,000. This is all in chapter 6. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But I said to you that have seen me, and yet do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. This indeed is the will of my Father, that the will that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. This is the Gospel of the Lord. And so Jesus has told us that he is the bread of life. And as I said yesterday, he will fulfill our deepest hungers. He will nourish us in ways that we could never hope for, really, um, that we need to be nourished and fed, not just with bread that feeds our bodies, but bread that feeds our souls. And Jesus will give us that bread. And it is bread for eternal life, he said in the yesterday's passage. And he has come, as he says, to do the will of him who sent me. And that, he's not, that he will raise up those who believe in him on the last day. And so as we leave this bit of the discourse about Jesus being the bread of life, let us give thanks for the food that we have that feeds the body. And let us crave for food that also feeds the soul. In, our, in the Lord's Prayer every day, we ask that we may be given our daily bread. And that is both food for the body and food for the soul. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they should be called children of God. And so let us pray. And as we remember Catherine of Siena, a doctor of the church, a teacher of the faith. Let us pray for all those who are engaged today in the teaching of the faith. For all those whose ministry is that of teaching theology, teaching through preaching, teaching in any kind of way in confirmation classes, baptism classes, all the opportunities that we have to teach the faith. We pray for all those engaged in it. Let us pray for all theologians, all those who unpack the scriptures for us. And let us pray for all in the religious life, 
for all who live a life of contemplative prayer, praying for, on behalf of, the world. We pray for all those in the religious life who, like Catherine, cared for the sick and the poor. We pray also for all spiritual directors and counsellors, all who give guidance to others. God, our teacher and our guide, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we give thanks and pray for the new Bishop of Horsham, Ruth, and the new Bishop of Lewis, Will, let us pray for them in their ministry, but also pray for this diocese as it begins its discernment for a Bishop of Chelmsford. We pray for all who will be part of that discernment and that we will be led by the Holy Spirit and that we will be given a successor to Bishop Stephen who will lead and guide this diocese. And so let us pray for Bishop Peter as he is acting bishop at the moment for the extra weight of responsibility. God of the Church, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so in our prayers we continue to pray for the sick, for all those affected and infected by the coronavirus, for all those who are sick in hospital, in critical care, intensive care, for our National Health Service, for all those offering support and care in the community, and for all the other health agencies who work on the front line, for the ambulance service, for paramedics, for the voluntary St John's ambulance, for the fire service, now driving ambulances, for the army and all those who are administering tests. We pray for them and for their safety, and above all for those they care for. God of healing, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we remember those who've died, those who've touched our lives for the good and now at rest, our own departed loved ones. And we remember all those who have died in the last 24 hours and those who will die today of COVID-19 and for all those who have died of other causes. We pray that they may be partakers of Jesus' promise that he will raise them up on the last day. We pray for their loved ones and all who mourn them. Every one of them is a name, a name known to their loved ones and known to God. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. In a moment of a silence, I invite you to bring your own prayers and petitions before Almighty God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the prayer, a collect for today on the festival of Catherine of Siena. God of compassion, who gave your servant Catherine of Siena a wondrous love of the passion of Christ, grant that your people may be united to him in his majesty and rejoice forever in the revelation of his glory, 
who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray as our Saviour has taught us, and I invite you to join with me in saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ give us his peace. Alleluia. Amen. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, and uh, yes, I'm grinning like a Cheshire cat because I am so very happy. I might even go and crack open a book uh, to give congratulations uh, to the new bishops. But have a lovely day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>